This video takes an unprecedented pictorial journey into North Korea, peering through the veil of secrecy to reveal facets of everyday life that the regime prefers to keep hidden. The following photos, smuggled out at great risk, offer glimpses into the lives of ordinary North Koreans, challenging our perceptions and preconceptions with every shot. Number 1. Hidden Everyday Life, A North Korean Home The first photograph captures the essence of domestic life within the constraints of North Korean society. It portrays a modest home, scarcely furnished but meticulously clean. The bare wooden floorboards, the austere furniture, and the few personal belongings on display reveal the humble living conditions. A prominently displayed portrait of the ruling Kim dynasty, a compulsory decor in every North Korean household, looms over the scene. This contrast between the state's constant presence and the simple austere living conditions is jarring, offering a potent symbol of the political climate in which these individuals exist. Number 2. Children at Play an unseen joy. The second image presents an unexpected heartwarming scene. North Korean children at play. Their faces, radiant with innocent joy, clash against the background of a drab, uniform housing complex. The children are engrossed in a game of soccer, using a makeshift ball. The stark contrast between their youthful exuberance and the colorless, stark concrete backdrop highlights the resilience and indomitable spirit of these children making do with what little they have. Yet the image also has an undertone of poignancy. The children's clothes, clearly handed down through multiple siblings, bear signs of wear and tear. The soccer field is but a barren patch of dirt amidst the concrete. Their joy and resilience are as much a testament to their spirit as to the stark realities they face daily. It's a reminder that behind the headlines and political tensions, these are just kids attempting to find joy in the simplest things, much like children anywhere else in the world. The ability of this image to humanize and personalize the North Korean experience, capturing an ordinary moment filled with such extraordinary joy, sadness, and resilience, is truly remarkable. Number 3. Under Surveillance, a street corner in Pyongyang. The third photograph, taken discreetly, displays a nondescript street corner in Pyongyang. At first glance, it's an ordinary scene, Citizens going about their business, cars passing by, the rhythm of daily life ticking away. But upon closer examination, an array of surveillance cameras comes into focus. Mounted on every possible corner, these cameras oversee the city's daily life with an unsettling omnipresence. These devices, as this photograph subtly hints, are stark reminders of the constant scrutiny and control exerted by the state over its citizens. Every step taken, every word spoken, is potentially monitored. This surveillance architecture forms a central part of the government's control mechanism, inhibiting free speech and fostering a culture of self-censorship. The fear of being watched feeds into the state's narrative of power and control, a narrative often hidden behind the display of grand monuments and orderly city life. Number 4. The Metro System Underground Escape The fourth photograph showcases an aspect of North Korea rarely glimpsed by outsiders, the Pyongyang Metro. The grand Soviet-style architecture, ornate chandeliers, and mural-covered walls reveal a world far removed from the typically austere depictions of the country. The metro, ironically, is one of the few spaces where citizens can engage in private conversations, away from the ever-watchful eyes of the state. Passengers are seen immersed in quiet discussions or lost in thought. An air of solemnity hangs over the scene. This is one of the few public spaces where the faces of North Koreans are not entirely guarded, where the strain of constant vigilance can be momentarily released. However, the grandiosity of the architecture also serves as propaganda, a reminder of the state's capacity for grand projects. This image of the metro system, therefore, serves a dual purpose. It sheds light on the fleeting moments of privacy and relaxation North Koreans enjoy, while also demonstrating the state's insidious omnipresence. The metro, in this sense, represents an underground escape, both a literal transit system and a metaphorical space for temporary respite from the relentless state control. Number 5. The Reality of Rations, a Market Scene The fifth photograph captures the hustle and bustle of a local market, a critical aspect of North Korean life rarely witnessed by foreigners. With shelves far from overflowing and goods looking distinctly basic, 
This image offers a stark contrast to the glittering shopping complexes touted in official propaganda. Vendors peddle a variety of items, from basic foodstuffs to secondhand clothing. Some items, like the fruits and vegetables, seem ordinary enough. Yet others, items that appear to be recycled or repurposed materials, speak volumes about resource scarcity. The scene hints at an unspoken resourcefulness among citizens, a necessity born out of the need to make do with limited resources. Interestingly, the market scene also exposes an undercurrent of informal capitalism in the largely state-controlled economy. Despite the state's rigid economic controls, these markets persist, serving as an essential lifeline for the average North Korean. They represent both the resilience of the people and the reality of rations in North Korea. Number 6. Traditional versus Modern – The Clash of Dress Codes the sixth photograph spotlights a street scene depicting a stark dichotomy in clothing choices. On one side, an older man donned in traditional hanbok crosses paths with a young woman sporting modern, western-style attire. This clash of styles presents a fascinating narrative on changing social dynamics, globalization, and individuality within the restricted society. The older man's hanbok, steeped in tradition and national identity, stands as a symbol of the nation's past and the regime's efforts to maintain cultural purity. On the other hand, the young woman's attire reflects the creeping influence of global fashion trends, subtly infiltrating North Korean society despite stringent controls. This tension between the traditional and modern speaks to the evolving cultural identity within North Korea, a transformation often overshadowed by political narratives. It illustrates how, even in restrictive environments, expressions of personal identity and modernity can persist. Although these expressions may appear minimal to an outside observer, within the North Korean context, they represent subtle acts of individualism and non-conformity. Number 7. Technological Divide, Old Radio The seventh image presents an antiquated radio, a stark symbol of the technological divide that separates North Korea from much of the world. This decades-old device is a standard fixture in North Korean homes, primarily used for receiving state-controlled news broadcasts. Modified to receive only government-sanctioned channels, these radios represent the regime's tight control over information. The image invites us to reflect upon the vast chasm between North Korea's technological landscape and that of the developed world. In an age of smartphones and internet connectivity, the presence of such obsolete technology encapsulates the country's isolation and the government's efforts to control information dissemination. Number 8. Fading Beauty, a Neglected Park The eighth photograph captures a once beautiful park, now faded and neglected. Overgrown with weeds, the park's crumbling structures and rusty playground equipment seem to reflect a broader decline. Yet the deserted park also whispers stories of happier times, its derelict state in sharp contrast to the laughter and joy it once hosted. This neglected park stands as a metaphor for the unrealized potential and gradual degradation of the nation under oppressive governance. Its deterioration is a silent testament to the regime's misplaced priorities and the stark reality of everyday life in North Korea. Number 9. A Silent Classroom, The Education Paradox the ninth photograph invites us inside a North Korean classroom. It's eerily silent, devoid of the typical noise associated with a learning environment. The rows of empty desks, the teacher's blackboard covered with ideological slogans, and the conspicuous absence of modern learning tools together paint a chilling picture of the country's education system. This silent classroom stands in stark contrast to the state's grand narrative of prioritizing education. It hints at an education paradox, a system that prioritizes political indoctrination over genuine learning. Despite the outward claims of a comprehensive education system, this image exposes an unsettling truth about the nature and quality of education within North Korea. Number 10. Censored Art – A Mural with Hidden Meanings The tenth photograph focuses on a public mural, an omnipresent feature of North Korean cities. But this isn't just any mural. It's a vibrant tableau of societal ideals, painstakingly painted yet subtly censored. These murals are strategically placed at public spaces and are powerful tools of propaganda, showcasing the regime's narrative and nationalistic ideology.
This particular mural showcases an idyllic scene of smiling workers and prosperous farms, an apparent homage to the nation's agricultural resilience. But a closer look reveals hidden meanings. The overly joyful expressions, the unrealistic bountiful harvest, and the prominent figure of a soldier subtly underscore the enforced optimism and militaristic focus of the regime. The mural, while colorful and vibrant, is essentially a censored piece of art. It stands as a reminder of the regime's tight control over artistic expression, reflecting not the reality, but a fabricated ideal of North Korean society. This fascinating blend of art and propaganda offers a sobering insight into the power dynamics and information control within the country. Number 11. Leisure Behind Closed Doors, A Family Dinner Scene the 11th photograph offers a rare glimpse into a North Korean home during leisure time, specifically capturing a family dinner scene. The family is huddled together, sharing a modest meal, their expressions a blend of fatigue and warmth. Despite the hardships they face, there is a sense of togetherness that permeates the image. The dinner table is sparingly laid, reflecting the reality of food scarcity, yet each family member seems to relish the simple fare. The shared meal becomes a symbol of resilience and unity in the face of adversity. The image also subtly illustrates the contrast between public life and private spaces in North Korean society. While public spaces are often marked by state control and propaganda, behind closed doors, families manage to carve out intimate spaces of shared experiences and relative freedom. Yet, even in these moments of leisure, the ever-watchful gaze of the state intrudes, symbolized by the mandatory portraits of the Kim dynasty hanging on the wall. This image of a family dinner, therefore, paints a complex picture of North Korean life, one that merges resistance and resilience, state control, and the human capacity for finding joy in the mundane. Number 12. The Agricultural Struggle, a Depleted Rice Field the twelfth photograph takes us to the rural heartlands of North Korea focusing on a depleted rice field. The barren landscape, devoid of the lush green typically associated with healthy paddy fields, reflects a bleak reality that lies beyond the bustling cityscape of Pyongyang. The image speaks volumes about the chronic food insecurity and agricultural challenges that the nation continues to grapple with. Farming machinery is conspicuously absent, replaced instead by rudimentary tools. The scene highlights the scarcity of modern agricultural technology, pointing to systemic issues such as economic isolation, outdated farming techniques, and infrastructural neglect. The image also reveals the significant human cost of these agricultural struggles. The weary farmers laboring in the field against the backdrop of a barren landscape reflect the arduous, Sisyphean task of trying to cultivate crops in an increasingly infertile land. Their struggles are a stark reminder of the endurance of the North Korean people, continuously striving for survival amidst numerous challenges. Number 13. Uniformity in Labor, The Factory Floor The 13th photograph takes us inside a North Korean factory, a microcosm of the nation's labor force. At first glance, the picture depicts a typical factory floor, workers immersed in their tasks, machinery humming, a picture of industry. But a closer look reveals a striking uniformity in the workers' clothes, actions, and even their expressions. The enforced uniformity serves as a symbol of the state's control over its labor force, dictating not just what they do, but also how they present themselves. This uniformity also extends to the tasks being performed, hinting at the lack of innovation and individualism within the working environment. Beyond the uniformity, the image also subtly captures the stark reality of working conditions. The factory appears dated, and the lack of safety equipment is noticeable. These details expose the harsh realities faced by North Korean workers, constantly striving within a system that prioritizes production quotas over individual welfare. In essence, the factory floor becomes a metaphor for North Korean society at large, a system where uniformity is enforced, individuality is stifled, and citizens labor under challenging conditions. Number 14. The Facade of Prosperity and Empty Shopping Mall 
The 14th photograph reveals an imposing architectural structure, a grand modern shopping mall, eerily empty and desolate. The image exposes the facade of prosperity that North Korea often presents to the outside world. The mall, with its shiny floors and sophisticated design, seems to be lifted straight from a developed nation. Yet its desolation tells a different story. The photograph subtly alludes to the economic reality that belies the country's outward display of progress. The lack of customers and goods on the shelves symbolize the limited purchasing power of the average North Korean citizen, a consequence of economic hardships and income disparities. The mall, instead of being a bustling hub of commercial activity, is a hollow symbol of prosperity. This image challenges the state's narrative of economic advancement laying bare the stark contrast between the state's propaganda and the realities of economic life. The empty mall stands as a monument to the facade of prosperity, a facade carefully constructed and maintained by the North Korean regime. Number 15. Longing for Freedom, a Bird in Flight The 15th photograph stands out from the rest, capturing a seemingly mundane scene, a bird in flight against a clear sky. Yet, within the context of North Korea, this image holds a deeper, more symbolic meaning. The bird, soaring high in the sky, embodies the universal longing for freedom. Its unrestricted flight serves as a stark contrast to the lives of the North Korean people, symbolizing their suppressed desires for freedom and mobility. The image also hints at the constrained existence of North Koreans, whose lives are tightly controlled by the regime. The unrestricted flight of the bird underscores the stark contrast between the natural world's inherent freedom and the artificial restrictions imposed on the citizens. This photograph is a poignant reminder of the human spirit's resilience and the universal longing for freedom, even in the face of oppressive conditions. Through this simple yet powerful image, we gain a fresh perspective on the restrictive environment within North Korea and the deep-seated human desire for liberation that transcends borders and political regimes. Number 16. The Hidden Cost of Parades, a Backstage View The 16th photograph grants us backstage access to the grand parades often broadcast by North Korean state media. The image captures a group of performers, exhausted and huddled together, far removed from the polished spectacle they are part of. Their fatigue-ridden faces, contrasted against the vibrant costumes they don, provide a raw, unfiltered look at the human toll of these extravagant displays of national pride. The grand parades, often seen as demonstrations of North Korean unity and prosperity, become through this lens a symbol of the state's prioritization of facade over human welfare. The performers, expected to maintain a joyful facade, reveal a starkly different reality backstage, where exhaustion and strain replace the smiles and choreographed steps. This image confronts us with the hidden cost of these grand spectacles. It is a powerful reminder of the human faces behind the state's narrative, faces often overlooked amidst the glitz and glamour of the parades. Number 17. Standing in Line. The Reality of Public Services. The 17th photograph brings into focus a common sight in North Korea, citizens queuing at a public service office. The long line, combined with the weary expressions of those waiting, paints a stark picture of the reality of accessing public services in the country. The image brings to the fore the bureaucracy and inefficiency that often characterizes state-controlled services. The act of standing in line, a seemingly mundane task, encapsulates the patience and resilience required in everyday life in North Korea. The photograph also subtly critiques the state's control over resources and services. The long wait times and seemingly disorganized process hint at a system that, despite its emphasis on control and order, often falls short in providing efficient services to its citizens. This unassuming image of a queue is a potent symbol of the lived experiences of North Koreans highlighting the challenges and mundanities of everyday life often hidden behind political narratives. Number 18. Spectacle of Power, a Military Exercise The 18th photograph takes us to a military exercise capturing a scene of choreographed power and precision. The image displays a large number of uniformed soldiers, their faces stern and focused as they participate in a meticulously orchestrated drill. 
These military exercises, often grand in scale, are not just strategic necessities, but also powerful tools of political spectacle, demonstrating the regime's military might. The picture showcases how the North Korean regime utilizes the military as a symbol of its power and resilience. The soldiers, in their identical uniforms and coordinated movements, represent the nation's unity and discipline, crucial tenets of the North Korean state narrative. However, the photograph also subtly reveals the militaristic nature of the state, hinting at the weight of military obligations placed on its citizens. The image prompts the viewer to consider the individual lives behind the uniform, the personal sacrifices made in service of the state's militaristic ambitions. Number 19. Fear and Obedience. Citizens at a Rally. The 19th photograph exposes a mass rally, an all-too-common scene within North Korea. A sea of citizens, each holding up propaganda placards, participate in a demonstration of apparent unity and loyalty to the regime. The faces in the crowd range from stoic to fervently engaged, mirroring the state's narrative of widespread nationalistic fervor. However, the photograph also suggests a more unsettling reality. The uniformity of the crowd, their seemingly rehearsed gestures, and the ubiquitous presence of propaganda materials hint at a deeper undercurrent of state-imposed fear and obedience. This image paints a complex picture of public sentiment within North Korea, a blend of genuine national pride, coerced participation, and underlying fear. The rally, while on the surface a spectacle of national unity, reveals the intricate dynamics of fear and obedience that underpin the North Korean society. Number 20. Unseen Poverty. A Shanty House. The 20th photograph reveals an aspect of North Korean life often hidden from the outside world, poverty. It showcases a dilapidated shanty house, its ramshackle structure and meager surroundings a stark contrast to the gleaming cityscapes depicted in state media. This image is a silent testament to the economic hardships faced by many North Koreans, a sobering glimpse into the unseen poverty that persists beneath the state's narrative of prosperity. The picture also humanizes the face of poverty. The shanty house, while run down, carries signs of habitation. Clothes hung out to dry, a small vegetable patch, indications of an enduring human spirit amid hardships. The photograph underscores the resilience of North Koreans as they navigate their daily lives within an economic reality that is challenging and often unforgiving. This image strips away the facade often portrayed by North Korean propaganda, laying bare the stark socioeconomic disparities that exist within the country. It is a potent reminder of the unseen poverty and the human struggle that lie beneath the surface of the state's triumphant narrative. Number 21. Religion Under Repression, A Hidden Shrine The 21st photograph brings into focus a rarely seen facet of North Korean society, religion. It captures a humble, hidden shrine, its existence a quiet act of defiance against the state's strict control over religious practices. The shrine, while modest in appearance, is a poignant symbol of faith's endurance under repression. The picture provides a rare insight into the spiritual lives of some North Koreans, suggesting the presence of an undercurrent of faith that persists despite state atheism. The existence of the shrine speaks of a yearning for spiritual expression and a resilience of belief in the face of ideological indoctrination. The image also hints at the state's control over religion, its policies relegating such expressions of faith to hidden corners. The shrine, while a symbol of spiritual resilience, is also a reminder of the suppression of religious freedoms within the country. Through this photograph, we gain a deeper understanding of the complex relationship between faith and state control in North Korea and the silent perseverance of spiritual practices under conditions of repression. Number 22. Bright Lights, Dark Secrets, A Night View of Pyongyang The 22nd photograph provides a breathtaking nighttime view of Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea. The city appears vibrant with lit skyscrapers and glowing streets, a display of modernity and development. However, this spectacular night view hides as much as it reveals, symbolizing the dark secrets beneath the bright lights. This image of a lit-up Pyongyang presents a stark contrast to reports of electricity shortages in the country, particularly in rural areas. The disparity suggests an unequal distribution of resources favoring the capital, 
reflecting the socioeconomic divide within the country. The bright city lights also mask the reality of a state surveillance system that permeates every corner of North Korean society, its omnipresence hidden in plain sight amid the urban glow. The photograph is a vivid reminder of how appearances can be deceiving. While Pyongyang's night view suggests prosperity and modernization, the reality hidden behind the bright lights tells a more complex and troubling story. Number 23. Hidden Smile, A North Korean Child The 23rd photograph is a candid portrait of a North Korean child. Captured mid-laughter, the child's joy appears unfiltered and genuine. This hidden smile, a rare and candid expression of joy, offers a poignant contrast to the often sober and controlled depictions of North Korean citizens. However, this photograph is more than just a snapshot of a happy moment. It serves as a subtle commentary on the resilience and spirit of the North Korean people, especially its children. Despite the harsh realities they may face, there is still room for laughter, joy, and the simple pleasures of childhood. Simultaneously, the image invites us to reflect on the future of this child within the confines of North Korean society. The photograph, while capturing a moment of innocence and joy, also poses implicit questions about the freedoms, opportunities, and challenges that lie ahead for North Korea's younger generation. Number 24. Iron Rails, Silent Journey, A Rural Train Station The 24th photograph transports us to a rural train station in North Korea. The station, though devoid of the usual bustle associated with such places, presents a powerful image of stillness and solitude. The lone track stretching into the distance symbolizes a silent journey, a testament to the isolation of rural North Korea. The image paints a stark picture of the disparities in infrastructure and development between urban and rural areas. The solitary station and the lack of any visible passengers hint at the limited connectivity and accessibility in these regions, underscoring the geographical isolation faced by rural citizens. The photograph also evokes the themes of journey and movement. The iron rails lead us into the horizon, stirring a sense of curiosity and melancholy about the journeys they enable, or perhaps those they do not. This symbolizes the constraints on freedom of movement in North Korea, further highlighting the contrast between the solitude of the station and the universal symbol of train journeys as pathways to new destinations. Number 25. The Unseen Border, A Quiet River The final photograph in the collection brings us to a tranquil riverside scene, a seemingly innocuous image that holds a deeper significance within the North Korean context. The river in this image represents more than a natural feature, it symbolizes an unseen border, a natural barrier that has profound implications for the lives of North Koreans. Borders, both physical and invisible, are crucial elements of the North Korean experience, symbolizing the state's control over the mobility and freedoms of its citizens. The quiet river in this image is a reminder of the unseen borders that North Koreans face in their daily lives, from restrictions on international travel to tightly controlled internal movement. The photograph invites us to reflect on the nature of borders and the quiet struggles they represent. While the river may seem peaceful, it is a potent symbol of the unseen barriers that restrict the lives of ordinary North Koreans. Despite its tranquility, the river underscores the realities of life within an isolated nation, the unseen borders that define the North Korean experience.